I was taking a helicopter one day, and um, I was waiting on the helipad, okay? Rewind two days before that. I'm at home, having my cereal, my Cheerios, and there's a carton of milk there with the missing person things on the back. And I've seen a thousand of them, okay? This one was slightly different, because it was a missing child, which is always sadder. Well, no, it's sad when anyone goes missing, but presumably because of her age, this was an abduction, and you know. Um, and it was also the language, it was a plea from the mother. And it was the wording, she just said, the name of the little girl, which I won't say, I remember it, um, and the day and place where she was last seen. And she just said, five years old, blonde hair, blue eyes, always happy, please help me. And it must have stayed with me. Two days later, I'm there, it's like a wharf development, waiting for this helicopter. And um, I'm looking down onto sort of some disused sort of warehouse space. And uh, looking one, right? And um, someone had put up a brown blanket with this duct tape, okay, as like a curtain. And it had fallen away. And I can see in, this is a true story, it's an empty room, apart from a mattress, and on the mattress is a little girl with her hands tied. And my fucking heart, five years old, five years old, blonde hair, blonde hair, blue eyes, blue eyes, always happy, crying her eyes out. What? It, it couldn't have been her, I left it. <laughs> Thanks very much, you've been amazing. Good night, Chicago. Cheers. <laughs>